Welcome to the Oracle BI Lifecycle Series. In this stream, we're going to talk about managing your Oracle BI system. For managing your Oracle BI system, we call that Oracle BI Systems Management. And in this stream, we're going to talk about you know, what is systems management from a BI perspective. One of the key tools that we use for systems management with Oracle BI is Fusion Middleware Control. And at the end of the stream, we'll take a look at a demonstration of Fusion Middleware Control. But first of all, let's take a look at some of the management capabilities that Fusion Middleware Control offers. So Oracle BI Systems Management is about lowering the total cost of ownership of an Oracle BI system through the use of open standards. And through using Fusion Middleware Control, we can provide a comprehensive user interface for BI systems administrators, which focuses on the tasks that they need to carry out. Now, some of those tasks would be performing the initial configuration and setup, deploying the Oracle BI artifacts into the system. After that, one of the key responsibilities for a BI administrator is making sure that the system runs smoothly. Uh, is there enough capacity and is the system highly available, depending on how important that BI system is to the end users. In addition, some other key tasks would be monitoring the ongoing status, of the BI system, in addition to troubleshooting the, the system when something may go wrong. Now we're going to take a look at a demonstration of Oracle Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control. Now we're going to take a look at the systems management user interface for Oracle Business Intelligence. That resides in a component called Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control which I'll just refer to as Enterprise Manager for the rest of this demonstration. Now, this Enterprise Manager is installed and is available as soon as you've done the install, so there's no other additional configuration or deployments that need to be carried out once you've installed Oracle Business Intelligence. So I'm going to log in as my BI Administration user and the first thing that we will see will be the introductory page to Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control. Here we can see on the left hand side we can navigate through the various application deployments, through our WebLogic domain, uh, the business intelligence which we're going to take a closer look at, the SBA servers and any metadata repositories. At this initial screen you get an overview of the status of all the various deployments within the application server and then on the right hand side s some areas which are a bit more of uh, interest from a, to an Oracle BI administrator such as the status of the admin server for WebLogic and the BI server which is the WebLogic managed server in addition to uh, components such as SBase. Business Intelligence has got its own plugin to Fusion Middleware Control. I can navigate to that core application plugin and get access to the specific information that is relevant to me as a Business Intelligence Administrator for, for Oracle BI. Now this user interface has been designed to take into account the, the kinds of tasks that a BI administrator needs to carry out. So it's been set out in a logical manner so that the initial tab, the overview tab, shows me the overall status of my BI system and if you like it's kind of a dashboard for BI administrators. So in addition to the overall status I can manage the entire system from this point I can start, stop or restart. I can see some re key metrics on the right hand side where I have my capacity management uh, portal in addition to some of the most recent errors and warning. On the bottom right hand side I've got access links which will take me through to information, training information, reference information to do with Oracle Business Intelligence. Now the next thing we're going to do is take a look at each of the tabs that are along the, the top. So the next, next one along we have uh, what we call the availability tab. The previous overview gave me control over the entire BI 
system. The availability tab will give me individual control over each of the servers that are in my system. Here we have a single node business intelligence system. If you had multiple nodes within your cluster, for example, you would see each of the server components appear in this screen. Using the buttons along the top, I can start, stop, or either all of the components or individual components at this, at this point. This is also a useful screen because it gives me information about the host that that service is running on, in addition to the port number that that service is listening on. If I click on the failover tab, this is an informational guidance screen. Now as a business intelligence administrator, one of my tasks is to make sure that the BI system is, is available and has enough capacity to serve all my end users. In this particular case, which is a single install, the failover tab is guiding me to say that the following components don't have any redundancy or there is no backup configured for those and a recommended action of scaling out the system so that there are more than one of each type of server to provide redundancy is, is recommended. So from within EM Fusion Middleware Control you can carry out the recommended actions to check that you, you, you have the appropriate high availability and scalability of your system. Next, let's move on to capacity management. There are three tabs. The middle one, scalability, is again confirming whether that system has been scaled out or not. And in this particular case, I have one, a single instance and one of each type of server on that host. If I had performed the scale out using the Oracle Universal Installer Enterprise install type, then any additional hosts within my cluster will appear in this screen and I can then add servers of whatever type are appropriate onto those servers as needed. Moving over to the metrics tab we can see some key metrics for Oracle Business Intelligence. They are grouped in terms of responsiveness, the load or the reliability. I can actually view a complete set of metrics by clicking at the link on the bottom. This will open up the metrics palette for Oracle Business Intelligence which is a rich set of metrics which will monitor all the components of the Oracle Business Intelligence system. The metrics palette will start recording as soon as I open it which is why there's no data at the moment. But you can drill into the metrics palette and because we have no user load on this system at the moment nothing is showing. If I scroll down you can see that we have some more metrics appearing for each part of the BI system and if I open the metric palette at the using the button at the top then a whole host of metrics is made available to me uh, covering pretty much every area of the Oracle Business Intelligence system in, in great detail. I can choose from these metrics and they will be added to the charts on this metrics palette page. It's a very powerful way of monitoring your Oracle Business Intelligence system using these various metrics. Let's navigate back to our Business Intelligence Core Application plugin. So we're just waiting for that page to load. So here we are back at our metrics page. And again, this is showing a key summary of some of the important metrics that I need to be aware of as an Oracle Business Intelligence Administrator. Clicking on the Performance tab. Now, Enterprise Manager allows me to change some of the configuration settings which will allow me to fine tune the performance of my Oracle Business Intelligence system. So here I have the ability to change settings which will uh, tune the, the BI server cache, um, the 
how long a user session lasts for the user session success session expiry time and some other other key configuration aspects such as the number of rows that are downloaded when when rendering certain views and in order to make those changes the enterprise manager has this ability to to actually lock the configuration so using the button at the top I can lock the configuration so it's telling me that that configuration lock is taking place and that I now have that ability to make those changes so whereas before these configuration settings were greyed out now they have become active once I've made those changes I can hit the apply button and I'm then prompted to activate the changes and in some cases those changes will require the system or individual components of the system to be restarted which I can carry out using those start stop buttons that we saw earlier when we were looking through Fusion Midway Control. Next, a very important part of the Oracle Business Intelligence Administrator's tasks are to uh, perform troubleshooting or diagnostics when something goes wrong with the system. This may be when an end user is called in to say that they can't access the system or they can't log on or something's happened when they've been using the system itself. The, the Diagnostics tab within Fusion Middleware Control provides access to the most recent errors and warnings that we can see initially on the screen. But the Oracle Business Intelligence System is made up of various components such as the presentation server, the BI server, the scheduler, Java host, SBase, etc. And at the bottom I can see I can access each of those log files directly. One of the value adds that Enterprise Manager provides is something called the Log Viewer. I'm going to click on that link at the bottom and that will take me into the next screen which is the Log File Viewer. Now whenever an entry is added to one of the Business Intelligence log files it is tagged with certain information such as the time that that entry was, was put into the log file. In addition, each entry has something called a, a un, an ECID, which is an ex called, short for Execution Context ID. At the bottom, you can see the ECID for this error log file entry that was um, seen on the log file viewer. Now, the great thing about the ECIDs is that because each of the BI system components has got the ECID in its log file, typically when you're troubleshooting a BI uh, issue or trying to work out what, what's happening with the system, instead of having to go through each of the individual log files, I can click on this ECID link and all the related error messages and warnings will appear in the log file viewer. So in this particular case, there was just a single entry, but this is a very powerful way of troubleshooting um, issues that may occur with your BI system. If I navigate back to the log file viewer, you can see that we can choose different targets and different types of uh, log file messages such as incidents, errors and warnings in addition to choosing a date range. So very very powerful capabilities there for, for troubleshooting uh, your BI system by interrogating the log files. So navigating back to the BI core application page, let's take a look at the log configuration options. So here we can choose what level of log file messaging uh, Oracle BI carries out in terms of setting the size of, of those log files in addition to the default log level. Moving on to the security tab, there are a couple of things that we can choose and set from the security tab. So the first one is whether we have single sign-on enabled and if we have set up single sign-on for our Oracle Business Intelligence then we can configure 
the uh, the details for that SSO provider in this page. Another aspect of Oracle BI security is the management of application roles and application policies. So application roles are a way of grouping together certain types of privilege within the Oracle BI system and the benefit of application roles if I click on the configure and manage application roles link is that we can map an application role to existing groups within an LDAP provider. So the benefit of that is that those application, in this case business intelligence groupings or roles don't need to be created within the corporate LDAP. Business intelligence, fusion middleware control provi uh, provides the ability to map application roles directly to existing groups within the corporate LDAP and here you can see that we have some out-of-the-box application roles BI system, BI administrator, BI author and BI consumer. The next tab within our security sub-tab within the Fusion Middleware Control is if we have a secure connection configured, so secure sockets layer or SSL as, as it's known, you need to provide the location of your certificate so that your server and the client can confirm who they say they are. So in this, this is the tab where you would set the location for the certification. In this particular case, the SSL is set only for internal communications by the Oracle BI middle tier. If you wish to set up the SSL for the outward facing or the client server communications, then you would do that within the, the WebLogic administration console. The last tab that we have within Fusion Middleware Control contains information about our deployment. So this is typically the kind of operation that you would carry out after you've done the initial install and you may wish to uh, upload a new repository you can do that from this particular screen. You can also choose the location for the Oracle BI presentation catalog from, from this screen as well. The other tabs within the deployment tab some configuration settings for the presentation server for the scheduler, we have a default database which is the connection information to the, uh, the BI platform repository creation utility created schema within the database. You may have a different database that you wish to use for the scheduler and you can make those settings in this tab. If you have a um, marketing server, you would set the, the URL for that marketing server in this screen. And the last tab is where you would set up your information if you wish to um, have Oracle Business Intelligence send you email alerts. Here you would set up the configuration for your SMTP server so that Oracle Business Intelligence knows how to send the emails to your, to your inbox with the, the Business Intelligence alerts. So that concludes the, dem the demonstration of the functionality for Oracle Business Intelligence within Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control. As you've seen, Oracle Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control provides an easy to use, task-based, focused environment for the Oracle BI Systems Administrator to monitor, troubleshoot and configure their Oracle BI system. Thank you for listening to this stream about Oracle Systems Management for Oracle Business Intelligence. Please check out the other streams within the Oracle Business Intelligence Lifecycle series.